How to record the sale of an asset in QuickBooks. Hey everyone, this is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. If this video is helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also uh, share it. I sure would appreciate that. Also head over to the QuickBooks University, sign up for the masterclass training. Got the link down there in the description of the video and the first pinned comment. Okay, so what we wanna do here, I get this question quite a bit, is we need to show the sale of an asset in QuickBooks. And in this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, uh, you know, if it's financed, if you have a loan on it, how do we get rid of that loan? So there's a couple things going on here when you sell an asset. Okay, so I'm going to pull up the balance sheet here and you can see uh, this balance sheet we have. Okay, so we have the assets here and then we have the loans down here. So when you sell an asset that has a loan on it, there's a couple things you gotta do. One, you've gotta take the asset off the books. Two, you gotta show the cash coming in, if you're getting cash. Three, you gotta get rid of the accumulated depreciation on this asset. And then four, you've gotta get rid of the loan. And then last, you've got to record the gain or loss on the sale of that vehicle. Okay. In this case, a vehicle, we're going to show the sale of a vehicle. This applies to any asset. Okay. That you dispose of, uh, in the business. Now this also applies if you trade in a vehicle. Okay. So if you go and you get a new vehicle and you trade in an old one and they give you a certain amount of trade in value, that trade in value is essentially the sales price. Okay. So you're going to record it the same way when you trade in a vehicle. Okay. All right, so let's take this example. What we're going to do is we're going to say, you know, the first thing you got to do is you got to look at the original cost of the asset that you're selling. So in this case, we're going to say that this is a this was a fifty thousand dollar vehicle. So when we bought it, we paid fifty thousand dollars for this vehicle. Okay, so we know that information. Now we're also going to assume that there was twenty thousand of accumulated depreciation. All right, so these are things you're going to have to look up. You may have to call the accountant. You, you know, if you track depreciation internally based on the assets, you'll, you'll have that information. But you need to know what that original cost was and what the accumulated depreciation is. Now, most accountants are calculating accumulated depreciation at year end. Uh, you know, some people are doing it monthly internally in their business. And so, you know, you may have to make some estimates on that accumulated depreciation if you're selling it mid-year, uh, but you're going to need to know what that number is. Okay. Then, of course, you're going to need to know what the loan balance is. Now, if you are reconciling your loans every month, you should have the correct principal balance uh, on your balance sheet. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to say it's a $50,000 vehicle, had $20,000 of accumulated depreciation. And we're going to say that this loan right here for ten thousand five hundred one forty seven is the remaining balance. Okay, so if we sell this for thirty thousand dollars, here's what we're going to do. First of all, you know you're going to gather all your papers. You got the sale documents. You got you see how much cash you got. You know there might be some closing costs. We're going to assume in this case that you're going to get cash for the difference between the sales price, the thirty thousand, and the loan. Okay, so once the loan is paid off, you get the net cash. Okay, so what we're going to do, you're going to go up to company and you're going to have to do a journal entry for this. All right, so it does get a little bit complicated if you're not familiar with journal entries. Okay, so first of all, we want to choose the asset. All right, so this in this case, it's vehicles to take the original cost off of the books. So if we say $50,000 and you do a credit, that is taking the original cost off the books, which is what you need to do. You need to take that original purchase price you paid off the books. Okay, now you're going to put in a memo, of course. You want to make sure you do that. Then we're going to go and say accumulated depreciation. Okay, in this case, we said it was $20,000, so you will debit $30,000. Now, what this means is that the actual... Um, adjusted basis of this asset is $30,000, okay? Because it's 50 minus 20. And I'll tell you what, because I don't want that to be the same, 
as the net as my sales price, I'm gonna make my accumulated depreciation $30,000 so you can see what the gain looks like. All right, so because of that change now, the basis is 20,000, it's just 50 minus 30. All right, next, we're going to take the loan off of the book. So let me go find this loan. It should be under loan vehicles van. This is going to be a debit, okay? A debit, 10501 reduces a loan balance. 10501 All right, now we're going to say checking, okay? Because we're going to deposit something into our checking account. And that's going to be the difference between the 30,000 that we sell it for and the 105147. So a debit will increase the checking account. So what I'm going to do here and say 30,000 minus 10501.47. All right. So that gives us $19,000 in cash. All right. So the plug, if you want to call it that, is our gain or loss on the sale of an asset. So in this case, a $10,000 credit, that is a gain, so that is revenue, all right? So you should have a uh, gain on sale of asset account, and I'm gonna just type it in, and it's going to say, do you wanna set up this account? I'm gonna set it up so you can see what I'm doing here. We're gonna say that this is other income, okay? You don't want to make this like a main revenue account because it's not a uh, recurring item. Okay, so we have gain on sale of asset, $10,000. Now, if you really think through this, if you're selling it for $30,000, or I'm sorry, you're yes, you're selling it for $30,000 and the cost base is 50 minus 30 is 20. The difference between those two is 10. So you have a gain on the sale of the asset. Now, if I were to say that the accumulated appreciation was only 10,000, and I was selling this for $30,000. Let me delete this line. And you can see that it's going to debit. So that is a loss on the sale of the asset. And that's because the cost basis is 50 minus 10, that's $40,000, and we're selling it for 30. So we have a loss on this. So I should have named that account gain slash loss on sale of asset, but I think you get the point. So it's $10,000. All right, so when I save and close, go back to the balance sheet, and we can see here that uh, we are reducing our vehicles by $50,000, so that's gone. The loan down here, you see, is no longer there, and we have also taken the amount out of accumulated depreciation, $10,000, okay? So that's how you record the sale of a fixed asset in QuickBooks, okay? You gotta get a little bit used to these journal entries and, and a debit and credit and what increases and what decreases, but it once you get the hang of it, it should be pretty straightforward, all right? So anytime you're, excuse me, trading in a vehicle, anytime you're, you know, selling an asset, getting cash, whatever the case may be, this is the process you're gonna follow. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below and I will see you in the next video.